Five months ago, I started as a level one on a new account in GTA Online. And the only items I've bought on this account have come through spinning a wheel determining what I should buy next. So today in this video, I will spin that wheel again to see what item I'm gonna have to purchase. So welcome to the 69th episode of season number two of Loser to Luxury. And without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, so currently right now, I am on the wheel of luxury and I'm on the wheel of luxury because the last item I bought came off the wheel of business and that was our special cargo warehouse. And the last item I bought off the wheel of luxury was the RC Bandito. But what is going to be the next item I am going to have to purchase off the wheel of luxury? And it looks like we are getting, are we getting a Monty Tech vehicle? Nope. We are getting ourselves pretty much a very pointless vehicle, but probably one of the most fun things to customize in GTA Online, which is going to be a Benny's vehicle. All right. So we haven't even messed around with Benny's vehicles pretty much at all. I I don't even think I've even messed around with a Benny's vehicle on my channel at all, which is crazy. But anyways, you want to go to the internet, want to go to travel and transport. And then there's a tab right here called Benny's Original Motor Works. And you click this stock. And then there's a bunch of cars. And you're probably thinking, oh my God, you're gonna have to buy one of those pretty trashy cars. Yes. But the thing is about these vehicles, it's not just getting this car. I mean, like I can get the Itali GTV, whatever, for $1,189,000. Cool. You know, that's nothing special. But the way you customize this vehicle, oh, oh, the customer customizations to these vehicles make it like 20 times better. This is going to be fun. All right, so I just finished creating probably the biggest wheel I'm ever going to make for any Loser to Luxury episode, which is going to be the wheel of 1 to 29, and I feel very confident that we are not going to make a wheel that is going to be 29 different wheel spins, so I just put in parentheses Bennies. And the thing is there are 29 different Bennies vehicles off of this website. So how this is going to work is number one is going to be on the top row, and we're going to read this like a normal book we're gonna read this left to right so essentially one is going to be this vehicle right here the obey 10f two is going to be the bf weevil three is going to be the uber mox sentinel something whatever and then we're going to scroll down one and we're going to go back to the left and the grotty brioso 300 is going to be four and then you get the gist all the way down here and then we have the buccaneer this will be 28 and the voodoo would be 29 all right so since we got that taken care of let's spin the wheel and let's see what benny's vehicle i am going to have to get and we're gonna have to get a pretty high number we're gonna have to get on 25 okay so 25 is going to be the vapid chino which yeah okay there you go there's a little preview right there is what it could look like when it's customized the vapid chino so it's gonna cost us two hundred twenty five thousand dollars just stock but it's gonna be a lot of customization i have to really do some research on how much this is gonna cost but i feel safe on saying that this is gonna cost us roughly two million dollars by next episode i'll come out with a concrete price for this. I'll do the research, but as of right now, I'm just going to shoot for $2 million. And currently right now, I'm sitting on $269,000. So we have a long ways to go before we can actually purchase the Vapid Chino and turn it into a beautiful Benny's vehicle. All right, so currently right now, I'm on the wheel of quick cash. So let's spin the wheel and let's see how we're going to start out this episode in order to make money. And it looks like we are going to, I swear, it keeps landing on spin the diamond casino wheel. It really wants me to land on the podium vehicle again i landed on the podium vehicle episode two we're on episode 69 i haven't landed on it again even though i really shouldn't be landing on it that many times but i guess we're gonna test our luck again all right so currently right now i'm on the wheel of making money so what are we gonna have to do in this episode in order to make money and it looks like we are gonna have to sell off five to seven sourced vehicles for our vehicle warehouse all right so now i'm on the wheel of five to seven this is going to determine how many cars we're gonna have to steal off the street and sell it all from our vehicle warehouse. So let's spin the wheel and let's see if we're going to get five, six, or seven vehicles that we're going to have to sell off today in this video. And it looks like we are going to have to go out and sell off six vehicles from our vehicle cargo warehouse. All right, so we're going to sell off six vehicles from our vehicle cargo warehouse. But what else in this episode am I going to have to do in order to make money? And it looks like we are going to have to play the boosted money job for this week. And to to be honest, this week is not a great week for this, but um, I mean, races are boosted money and that is really skill dependent. Oh, well, you get screwed over in a race. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. If I do really well, we're going to get a lot of money. If we don't do that well, we're not going to get any money. We'll find out. But to determine how long we're going to have to do the boosted money job, I have a wheel of one to two hours. So let's spin the wheel and let's see how long I'm going to have to do the boosted money job for this week. And it looks like we are going to have an hour and 30 minutes to do the boosted money job. All right. 
right, so I got to sell off six vehicles from our vehicle cargo warehouse, and then I got to go and do the boost of money job for an hour and 30 minutes. And then at some point, I'm going to have to spin the diamond casino wheel, but I'm going to do that a little bit later on in this episode. But yeah, let's head over to my office and let's get started out with sourcing a vehicle for the vehicle cargo warehouse. All right, so we're at my office right now, so we need to select vehicle cargo. And I just realized that I could have sourced stuff from my terabyte, which I rarely do, but oh well, hopefully I'll remember that later on. But we need to click this green source vehicle button right here. And yes, I would like to steal a vehicle. And we have to steal a mid-range vehicle. Oh, I forgot to mention, just in case if you're new to this, there's three different ranges of vehicle. Low range, mid range, and top range. Low range pays out the least, mid range pays out right in the middle, and top range pays out the most. We are looking for top range, but I I'm okay with mid-range. Just don't give me low range. That would be great. Please and thank you, game. All right, so if you don't know how this works, essentially we have to go out and steal a vehicle. And that's what I'm doing right now. And once we steal that vehicle, we can take it back to my vehicle cargo warehouse. And then once we get there, we can customize this vehicle to the specifications of a buyer. And then we'll deliver that vehicle to the buyer. And then we'll get a profit for that. And essentially we have to do that six times over. Now, I know there is a method to cheese this as far as like, getting only top range vehicles. We are not doing that for loser to luxury. We're gonna let this play out randomly. We're getting this mission where there's a vehicle that it's in this little alleyway and they're hiding right behind the car. So I don't wanna shoot the car, but uh, I'll pull out my rifle instead of my shotgun. Okay, there we go. I think I accidentally shot it earlier. Um, apparently not. I, I swore I thought I shot it. So repair cost is zero. Oh, but the cop shot it. Thank you, cops. Oh yeah, that's another thing with these missions is that there is a repair cost every time you wreck or get shot at. But the thing is, is that the repair costs really are nothing. Oh, except last time I did this though. <laughs> last time I did this, I think I had repair costs up to $13,000, which still isn't even that much money, but geez, it was just annoying because, you know, I would like to keep the repair costs as close to $0 as possible. The cop ran into me. I don't know if you noticed that. A cop barely ran into me, but one, we didn't wreck badly and two, we didn't even get charged with the repair cost. Right, so the first vehicle that we stole um, a repair cost of under $1,000, not bad at all. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to a public session and i'm going to be selling these vehicles in a public session with at least 25 different players so we'll get a 50 percent bonus for selling off this vehicle all right so we've made it over to a public session so what we want to do is click export i'm going to click this export button and then there's three different ways we can sell off this vehicle we can sell this vehicle to a private dealer with no modification cost we can sell it to a showroom which is going to be more profit but a little bit of a modification cost and then we have the specialist dealer where we get paid the most and we have the highest amount amount of modification cost. The thing is the profit here for the specialist dealer is going to be a lot more than these other two. So you just really want to mess around with selling this off to a specialist dealer. This is going to pay you out the most because this is going to be a profit of $50,000 plus the 50% bonus on whatever we sell. Uh, but we have to quickly customize this. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Like no one cares what this looks like. It has to be something different. Oh good, it's raining. That is fantastic. And oh my goodness, we have to go five miles? What the heck is this location? I don't think I've ever gotten this location before. If I have, I do not remember. And oh yeah, I have a bounty on me. That was from last episode. Carries over into this episode. So raining, bounty on me. I'm trying to do a sell mission. Odds are not in my favor right now, but we are going to power through because we are not a pansy. Oh yeah, another thing with selling this off in a public session compared to a private session is the fact that in a private session, you'll have NPCs coming after you, NPC enemies. And it's a little bit annoying. When you sell it off in a public session, you don't have any NPC enemies coming after you. You. you just only have the opportunity to get griefed on by players. But these cell missions are so quick that a griefer really shouldn't have enough time to come after you. And that car just turned into me. My commission didn't go down, but my total market value went down. Okay, I wrecked there. That's on me. Oh, I just survived the bounty that was on me. Okay, that's good. I do not want to target on my back. So I got paid $5,000 for surviving that. Oh, are we taking this to the vineyard? Oh, that's where we're taking this. Okay, this is obnoxious how far away this is. Usually it's not this far away. Usually Usually I get like ones that are like two miles away. All right, but we've made it over to the buyer. We've only lost like $1,500, I think roughly. Uh, he doesn't care. He's going to drive his vehicle away. And there we go. We got paid $91,000 just for that, which is very, very nice. We have to pay like $12,000 to modify it. So that's roughly like $80,000 worth of profit, which is still pretty good. But we still have five more vehicles we have to sell off and they could get even better than that. So yeah, let's jump into the next one. 
All right, so I remembered to call in my terabyte, which is very nice. But yeah, let's go over here and let's go source another vehicle. So from this screen, you just click vehicle cargo, which is down here. Yes, I'm sure I'd like to source a vehicle. All right, what am I getting? A top range vehicle, a Z type. Very good. That's what we're looking for. Top range vehicles. I don't mind mid range, but I'm looking for top range. Yes, we are absolutely looking for top range vehicles. We spit on anything that's a low range vehicle. We do not like a low range vehicle. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. I did not realize the car was actually going to be right here. Oh, I was expecting to go right around the reservoir, but nope. It is apparently right on the reservoir. Uh, so we have to steal this car. Um, am I a good shot today? Um, actually, yeah. Wow. The only reason I said that because I didn't think I would be. Here we go. This is the vehicle that we're trying to get. The Z-Type. Uh, unfortunately, I had to shoot the guy out of the driver's seat. So that's going to be a repair cost of $1,700. But I still have two miles to drive. And I am driving through the reservoir. All right. And there we go. We've delivered this vehicle. Uh, that only costed us, I think, $1,800. I think it wrecked one other time, which wasn't that bad at all. But there we go. All right. So we delivered that vehicle. But the problem now, at least with selling off vehicles, is that we have to wait a certain amount of time before the next vehicle we sell off. So yeah, we have to wait 13 more minutes before we can actually sell off this vehicle. So I guess I'll see you when this timer ends and we're ready to sell this vehicle off. I actually almost forgot we need to spin the lucky wheel. That is our wheel of quick cash wheel spin. A wheel spin to spin another wheel. So we're here on the Diamond Casino. Hopefully we can land on the vehicle. So let's spin the wheel. And what are we going to get? Please let me land on vehicle. I don't think vehicle is going to come around again. Uh, are we going to get thirty thousand dollars it's actually pretty good that is pretty freaking good compared to the rest of the things on this wheel so thirty thousand dollars i am pretty happy with that um i guess i'll go over to the cashier too i'll get the visitor's bonus which is a thousand chips which will turn into a thousand dollars all right so now i'm going to be waiting to sell another vehicle so i'll see you when we're ready to do that all right so the time has expired so we can now sell off this vehicle right here this z type so once again let's click export we're going to once again sell it to a specialist dealer because it's still going to give us the most profit all right here we go um there's a guy with a wanted level right there i don't know what he's doing let's just get out of here um he is in a vehicle this is not a great sign i don't know what this guy's doing Okay, he was fighting a guy that was kind of close by, also in a Deluxo. I think they were both in Deluxos. They killed each other, so that is not an issue, at least right now. I thought that was kind of targeted at me because he was right outside of my vehicle warehouse, but wasn't. Right, but anyways, this is another cell mission where we have to go another four miles. I don't know what was up with the long cell missions today. No... I was just thinking about that for a second. He was in the right lane, like this lane right here. He was in the right lane and he turned left. Like not merged left. If he merged left, then okay, wait, there's a nope, 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 nope. Out. I'll shut up for a second. Nope. You're dead. You're dead. Okay, okay, we're good. We're good. I probably pissed that guy off. Um, my car is running away from me. I probably should blow up that oppressor, but um, I don't know. We're going, we're going, we're going. I don't care. I don't care. We gotta go. We have to go. I have two miles to go. This is one of the reasons why we do not need a long cell mission. Good thing I saw that. I was just in the middle of rambling. And good thing I looked down at the mini map. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There's an oppressor. There's an oppressor. See, now I'm hyper aware. I am like literally hyper aware. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's coming after me again. I'm out of my car. I'm ready to go. Where are you guys? Where's he going? Is he just circling me? Can I snipe him? Yeah, he's on the other side of this mountain. Oh, okay. He's right here. Come on. Come on. You won't. It looks like you actually won't. Are you just waiting for your prey to move? Oh, is he? He's actually. Where is he? Is he that high in the air? Huh? He just flew right by me, technically, but I didn't see him at all. I have no idea where he's at. He's just flying around. He's literally just flying around. I mean, I can play this game all day. No, I can't. I have to. <laughs> I have a time limit to sell this thing off. I'm going to wait for him to get far, far away, like to a different state away. Okay. I think he's far enough away now where I can like, you know, get a move on and I can at least recognize if he's coming after me again so I can get out and prepare just like how I just did. Yeah. My eyes are glued to the mini map right now. I don't know. That guy's weird. I don't know what he's doing. Wait, he's a level 14. Wait, I just saw that. He's a level 14. Oh, he just killed someone too. Can you really get an oppressor as a level 14? I mean, I guess you can, but like... Oh, I just wrecked. Awesome. He's not after me anymore, but like he has an oppressor as a level 14. That is strange. Oh yeah, he's just killing everyone now, but he can't kill me, loser. I can actually sell off my vehicle and I can actually, I don't know, apply myself in life and I don't know, do some stuff. But there we go. We made $146,000 off of that cell mission. All right, so we have four more vehicles we have to sell off. So let's jump into the next cell mission. All right, so let's source our third vehicle right here. Uh, what vehicle are we getting this time? The Valerier. Um, I think that's how you pronounce that. It's a mid-range vehicle, which still 
still not bad. I'd prefer mid-range than low-range. Thinking about this very optimistically. Oh, that guy that tried to come after me is now getting killed. That's a beautiful sight to see. Oh, he's not a level 14. I don't know why I thought that guy was a level 14. He's a level 152. That makes a lot more sense. I don't know why. Okay, anyways, there's a photo shoot. Yeah, I called a photo shoot for me, you know. Yeah, I need a photo shoot. Um, hello. Hey, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's not the photo shoot I ordered. Oh, I did not mean to hit you, ma'am. Dude, who else is shooting me? Stop. I didn't mean to hit you, sir. I am so sorry. Apparently, I accidentally hit a few people. Um, But anyways, this is the car that we're trying to steal. I don't think any bullets hit this vehicle. And that is correct. So yeah, now we need to drive like roughly two and a half miles back to my vehicle cargo warehouse and we should be good to go. Oh, great. I just wrecked. That was so stupid on me. But there's apparently NPC enemies coming after me, so I don't think I could have kept it. Oh, oh, there's a helicopter after me, too. Oh, that's even better. Fantastic. All right, and there we go. We've made it back to our warehouse. Roughly a $4,000 repair cost. Not awful, but worse than what I wanted it. All right, so we have to wait once again to sell this vehicle off. So I'll see you when we're ready to sell this thing off. All right, so there we go. The timer just expired. Once again, we can sell off our third vehicle. So once again, let's sell it to a specialist dealer. Let me customize this thing and we'll be ready to go hopefully no griefer comes after me this time all right here we go we're selling off the valerier and luckily this time we get a much better sell mission we only have to go two miles where was this for the first two sell missions it almost got me killed on the last sell mission but luckily i was a smart intelligent person and figured that out uh, we are still in the same session uh i haven't really been paying attention in this session either so i don't know what's been going on but it's been like roughly 15 minutes since we delivered this vehicle so hopefully things have cooled off that one guy you know hopefully forgot who i was and we'll just be able to sell this thing off okay i just got shot or like a straight bullet hit me we passed by someone who's in the middle of a shootout with the cops i guess a straight bullet hit me from that or i guess from the cops i don't know but that is why my commission's not perfect but we only lost 39 dollars <laughs> that is what i'm talking about right now turn into this uh, driveway i'm not used to having a quick sell mission but there we go so that's three vehicles we've sold off and we have three more vehicles that we have to sell off but i'm going to avoid the next waiting time kind of and how i'm going to do that is i'm going to source a vehicle and then we're going to get into our hour and 30 minutes of playing the boosted money job and then we're going to come back sell that vehicle off and then source and sell two more vehicles so let's go ahead and jump into the next source vehicle mission all right here we go let's go to vehicle cargo what is it in the next vehicle we're stealing this time we are stealing a uh, roosevelt matte black something um okay I, it's not giving me much information other than that what i'm looking at um use the phone Photo to locate the Roosevelt. Oh, you gotta be. That is all the way in Polito Bay. That's not good. We have to go all the way to Polito Bay just to locate the Roosevelt Valor. Like, why? Hey, why can't we have it in downtown Los Santos? You know, that'd be much easier for me. And the Roosevelt Valor, it didn't specifically tell me, like, what kind of vehicle this is. I think. I think off the top of my head, though, this is going to be a mid-range. But I wouldn't be surprised if it's a top range. Okay, we've made it here, but where would a Roosevelt Valor be in here? Why is a Roosevelt... Oh, it's right here. Never mind. I <laughs> found it. And now we have six miles to go. Part of that is going through the mountains, which is not great. So it'd be a miracle if I can keep the repair cost at zero dollars for this vehicle. I'm going to take a shortcut. Hopefully we don't... Oh, okay. Repair cost is going up. Oh, okay. That's honestly a little better than what I thought. Oh, never mind. I ran to a tree on our way down. All right, and there we go. We've made it back to the warehouse. We only had that one wreck kind of near Mount Chiliad just because I want to take a shortcut. Under $2,000 for a seven mile drive. That is pretty good. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to jump into the boosted money jobs for this week. So let's head on over and do that. And then once we're finished with that, we'll come back and we'll sell off that vehicle right there. All right, so the boosted money jobs for this week are going to be stunt races, and they're going to be HSW races. I am here at the stunt race series blip on the map. We're going to start out by doing this. See if we can find a lobby, and once we get into the lobby and the session launches, I'm going to start the timer of an hour and 30 minutes. All right, so we actually got one up, and we're going to start the timer right there. Here we go. We are starting out with a stunt series race. We are doing the peer race. I think this is what this one's called. Now, the good thing about this was the fact that I was the lead. Leader. I was the host. The good thing about me, okay, the turning on this thing sucks. Okay, anyways, the good thing about me being a host is the fact that I got to choose for us to not have custom vehicles since I do not have a good supercar that can actually win any of these races. So here I am with, what is this vehicle? I got the Italian GTB or GT something, whatever. Um, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to hit you. Um, okay, you're kind of in my way though. Hey! As you can see, we're doing a race where there's contact. You can do non-contact races. Okay. 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 Wow, there goes that race. Jeez. Keep driving. Just keep driving. Oh, I have to make a big jump. Can I make this jump? No. <laughs> 
<laughs> Great. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'm that bad of a driver, but geez, this is not a good start. This is awful. I'm in ninth. <laughs> this is so bad. It's okay. It's okay. You know what? It's just time for a comeback. You know, everyone else that I see, though, is using a Nero Custom. Maybe I should have used the Nero Custom. Dude, I wanted to pick the Emerus, but the Emerus wasn't an option for some weird reason. So I was like, okay, fine. I'll use this. And I do not think that it's paying off for me. All right, lap number two. I'm sitting in seventh out of ninth, which is fantastic. I've hit someone's slipstream, though. I don't want to... Okay, well, you can go ahead and suck. That's fine. I'll pass you. It's all right. I don't mind that. You know, catch-up is on for these races, so I should have at least an opportunity to go ahead and try to get back to the front of the pack. Oh, someone just wrecked right there. Uh, thank you for fifth place. Really appreciate that. Okay, here's two people right here. I think they wrecked during one of the loops. So hopefully, I can pass one of these dorks, or hopefully all of these dorks. Okay, I have this guy slipstream. Um, excuse me, sir. I need to go around you because I'm faster than you. Excuse me. I didn't mean to run into you. Okay, well, no. Okay, okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. You know, he didn't get out of my way. I didn't try to spin him out there, but, you know, it kind of happened. Oh, I think we're getting close to the finish line, though. Oh, oh, first place just wrecked. Oh, this is big. Um, can I get third? Wait, no. Mm -mm. Yeah, loser. You deserved not to get third. Yeah, that was stupid. He tried to wreck me there, and I was just like a brick wall. I said, uh uh. All right, but there we go. We finished third place. Not a bad st Okay, well, it was a terrible start to the race, but not a bad finish. We got nine. $19,000 for that, which isn't bad, but I'm looking more to get, you know, well, I'm looking to get first place, but I'm hoping to maybe get like 30,000 per race, but I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, I was the only one that used the Itali GTB custom. Oh, I had the fastest lap though. I mean, it's because I'm the best one here. Duh. Yeah, that might've been my best opportunity to win though. I mean, as long as I'm the host of the race, we should be still good to go. But once I get booted as the host, we're probably going to have to go back to custom vehicles, which is not great. Oh, and there we go someone else's host. That's great. Okay, here's the problem. I saw that HSW mods are enabled, which that means probably everyone's going to use an HSW Akachu Drag, or at least someone will, and whoever uses that, they're probably going to win. I have a custom body 801, but I don't think it's like fully customized. I think we customized this, maybe like the first 10 episodes or something like that, Loser Luxury, so engine modifications aren't the best. <laughs> Alright, anyways, though, we are here and we are going to try to win, and for some reason, I have a dorky helmet on, which is fantastic. Alright, let's go. Let's go. I'm just popping and a wheelie and let's get to it. I don't think this is too bad so far. I feel pretty comfortable. Uh, I think I'm remembering now like bike races are incredibly competitive. Like it is very difficult to get away from like the main pack. All right, I'm back in first. Let's go. <laughs> oh, don't go down there. Okay, we're good. We're good. I think this race is going to be trading a lot between like first and second, maybe even third or whoever can get back to the main. No, no, no. I did it. Dude, that is so annoying. Anyways, this race is a three-lap race, which is going to be a little bit interesting. Bro, why did everyone screw up there? Somehow, a lot of people just screwed up right there, which I don't understand that one, but now I'm back in second. But yeah, this race is three laps, which is going to be a little bit interesting because it gives me more time to catch up. And how the heck does that guy have speed? I didn't think he caught my slipstream. He just blew right past me. Oh, it's an Akachu drag. No wonder. It's a little annoying having HSW mods enabled because you have like people like that who can just fly right past you with an HSW. W Okachu drag, and I'm just sitting here with a not even fully upgraded body 801. Okay, well, somehow it took over second because I think the guy in second was being stupid, but I am far, far away from first place now, which is the guy in the Okachu drag. Wait, huh? Okay, I'm in first now. I don't know how that happened. I don't know how that happened. Maybe the Okachu drag guy, maybe he went too fast. That would have been hilarious. I forgot the guy's name, but I don't know. I'm in first now, which is nice, but I still have two more laps of this. All right, here we go. Lab number three. Um, Second place is decently close to me, but Aside from that, there's not really a whole lot of people that are close to me. Oh, yeah. By the way, when we started this race, there's 15 players. I don't want to check right now, to be honest, because I'm laser focused on the track. But I think I could get a ton of money from this. A three-lap race with a full 15-person lobby. It's not technically full, but still. A lot of people. Woo. This could be looking good if I can pull out the W. Okay. Somehow, I'm still in first. I have no idea how I'm still in first right now. We're getting close to the finish, too. Oh, yeah. There's one more checkpoint. Oh, my. We are going to get first place. There's the guy, um, kind of decently far away. I don't know how he didn't pass me, if that's the Akachu drag guy. Oh, okay. Five people left during the race. Oh, wait, no, the Akachu drag guy did leave. <laughs> 
Oh, okay. That guy was driving a Reaver, which, okay. Wow, thank goodness for that guy leaving. Or else I would not have won. <laughs> All right, there you go, first place. I mean, it's kind of expected when you're watching a Dr. Crush video. I got $71,000 off of that, which is pretty good. I think we had 15 people to start out with, but then I think five people left before we started up the race. So technically only 10 people were in this race. But still, $71,000 for only eight minutes, pretty good. And we still have a lot more racing to go, but we need to continue winning these races so we can keep getting more and more money. Oh, oh my God, dude, I'm already looking at this. This guy wants to do a non-contact race. What a dork. You know, I probably at some point would have complained about like me getting spun out by players, but my goodness, it is no fun doing a non-contact race. Like you're just watching paint dry. There's no fun in a non-contact race. All right, here we go. And as you can see behind me, there is a bunch of people that are invisible. What a beautiful sight, just a non-contact race. Wow, wow, just so stupid. All right, destroy last place every 30 seconds. Okay, that's cool. I mean, the problem is I don't plan on being in last place. I think custom bikes were on once again, and I'm using my custom body 801, which apparently is a winning vehicle. Wait, I forgot, can I like slipstream in a non-contact race? I feel like it's a no, but I don't remember. I don't do non-contact races because I'm not a loser. Oh yeah, this race had 16 players to start out with, which is very, very nice. So we should be able to get a lot of money here. Holy crap, I'm in second. I don't know how that happened, but here I am in second. Our first place is such a far ways away though. Oh, there goes that guy. Yeah, he is an Akachu drag. Yeah, adios. Yeah, this is the main reason I don't like having custom vehicles on just because like, you know, you get someone, you know, that has half a brain, but has an Akachu drag can beat a very talented racer. First place already finished. Second place is about to finish. I still get third place though. I still get third place in a group of 15 people with a body 801 in a sea of Akachu drags. There's at least four Akachu drags. I got first and second. All right, there we go. I finished third place once again. That's our second third place finish. Uh, we only got $14,000, but that makes a little bit of sense because that was only two minutes and 30 seconds worth of a race. Yeah, first place only got $29,000. So yeah, we weren't going to get a lot of money here just in general. Oh my God, we're doing another non-contact race. Okay, if we get into another non-contact race after this, I am just straight up leaving. I do not want to deal with a non-contact race. All right, here we go. Another dorky non-contact race. I'm still in my body 801. I think I saw there was five different Hikachu drags. That's going to be a tall... Uh Oh, I really do. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> oh, okay. That was a terrible start. Okay. Um, you didn't see a thing. Yeah, I'm already up against the world, essentially going up against Hakachu drags, and I do that to start out the race. Yeah, that was smart. I can safely say I can probably slowly climb my way back into the, I don't know, let's just say the top five, but I don't know if I can really do much damage inside the top five. Oh my god, first place is a 15 second lead. What a hacker is that? There's no way someone has a 15 second lead. One thing with the body 801, though, compared to Hakachu drag is that I can glide a little bit. It's not as good as it once was, but still, can glide a little bit better than a stupid Akachu drag. All right, lap number two. We're sitting at third place right now. Uh, I'd say we're going to finish top four. I think there's an Akachu drag kind of close to me. I'm going to assume he's going to pass me because he's an Akachu drag. No, dang it. That sucks. Well, that just probably cemented my faith into fourth place, unless it's something crazy happens. All right, yeah, we're going to finish in fourth place. Yeah, I can't compete with those Akaju drags. It wasn't like the most clean race, but it wasn't going to change too much. I might have finished in third place if I had a clean race, but no. The guys that beat me, all of them had Akaju drags. That's nuts. All right, there we go. I got fourth place. Yeah, not the best in the world. How much did I get for that? 16,000. I mean, it's still not bad, but yeah, I would like to at least compete in some races. We still have like 55 minutes left. I'm going to get out of here, at least with this group. And then hopefully we can get into some contact races that aren't going up against Hakachu Drags. All right, here we go. We're starting up a new race and contact is on and we are doing an HSW race this time. I turned off custom vehicles because I don't want to deal with custom vehicles. And you're probably thinking to yourself, oh, why would you do that, Dr. Crutch? You have an HSW vehicle, the fastest vehicle in the game, the best vehicle in the game, the Arbiter GT. If you think I'm going to use that thing in a race you lost your mind oh okay good 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 just screw everyone up if i screw up everyone screws up okay good we're doing an hsw tier 2 race i assume this is all the muscle cars because i did see the arbitrary 
Okay, that guy pushed me. That's fantastic. To respawn. Uh, now I'm in last place. Uh, I assume all the muscle cars are in here. I'm using the Buffalo EVX. I honestly don't know if this is actually the best vehicle to use. Oh my god, no, there's a turn right there. Sorry, I am not used to this race or this car. But yeah, I was battling between using this and the Vigero ZX. I decided to go with this, but I don't know. Okay, okay, if you're gonna spin out right in front of me, you are going to wreck. Okay, that made no sense. Anyways, I'm using the Buffalo EVX. Uh, with HSW vehicles, there's a limit of eight people that can join joined and i was able to get five in here lab number two i'm aware of the track now and i'm away from people now at least for right now oh my god that guy did the same thing i did <laughs> nice now i'm in second this is a spot where i wrecked really badly last time but it's okay we took the i almost took that turn really good but i didn't because i was being stupid no way around that Oh, come on. I... Oh, that one was annoying. That one was really annoying. Um, okay. I guess I'm getting third place. Uh, I don't even know where fourth place was. Or the guy that was in third place. I don't know. He went up here. I don't know why he went up here, guy. But whatever. All right, there we go. I got third place. I shouldn't have even gotten third place. That was not a great race by me. Um, oh my. Oh my. Okay, we need to go back to stunt races. That was awful. That is just straight up awful. Oh, good thing we leveled up. <laughs> Says no one. All right, here we go. We're jumping into another stunt race this time. I think I'm in a full lobby. I'm in an x80 proto this isn't mine and custom vehicles are enabled which kind of sucks i could have used my custom ocelot virtue the vehicle that i got for completing the last dose missions but the x80 proto has a little bit more acceleration so i'm going to use this uh, can you get away from me thank you oh yeah another thing too okay oh my god okay there's a few things about this race one thing hsw mods are enabled uh one of those vehicles that passed me was an hsw vehicle that's fantastic that's fantastic there's no way i could have gone around that another thing too is ketchup is on low yeah that's right it's on low which i didn't even know was a thing so essentially we're screwed we don't have a custom vehicle and ketchup is low so yeah already that beginning of the race has pretty much screwed us for the entirety of the race yeah we're gonna finish seventh place right here couldn't get up to the top five all right there we go we got seven place how much money do i get for that seven thousand yeah not great but not that i deserve a lot of money there yeah whoever's putting these races on at least allow ketchup to be on because my goodness yeah a guy with a weaponized ignis one which is so stupid because a weaponized ignis isn't even supposed to be good at racing it's just an hsw vehicle it's like why okay catch up is normal this time okay that's good yeah the options here really aren't the best as far as like vehicles i can use i mean i could use my ocelot virtue which has great traction but as far as top speed is concerned it really can't compare okay well maybe not top speed but acceleration it can't really compare i have to go the x80 proto but i'm still gonna get outmatched i did try to host another race but i couldn't get enough people to join which kind of sucks so i'm stuck here with all these guys with custom vehicles and here i am just with a stock x80 proto all right here we go i just want a clean start i want to get away from the clutter okay the guy that won last race he's not using an hsw vehicle because like the one thing hsw vehicles or the hsw class is lacking is a lot of supercars okay so far there's been a clean start to the race but we are with a ton of people so one wreck could really change the course of this race okay there's a wreck right there okay 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 we've escaped a big crowd which is good so now it's just me in the track which is what i need this would be a huge accomplishment if i can win this race like the first race that i won and the only race that i've won not really an accomplishment oh my god there's that guy that won last race oh he wrecked though <laughs> loser oh he's gonna pass me later on though but it'd be a huge accomplishment though if i can win this race compared to that one race that i won just because the guy with the akachu drag left that race right now i'm in the thick of things i am top three and i'm not that far behind the first place spot dude i think they're pulling away from me though which kind of sucks Right here we go, lab number two. Um, I'm in third. Oh, someone just passed me. That's great. That's probably, yep, it's the guy that won last year. I don't know how that guy has that fast of a car. And that's not his HSW car anymore. Yeah, so now I'm in fourth, but I didn't do anything wrong. Wait, no, I'm in third, huh? Dude, that guy's car is so fast. He just ran into the wall because he went way too fast. I don't know what he's doing. Something's up. Something's a little fishy there, if you ask me. Oh, my God. The guy that was the host won the race. That's fantastic. Yeah, I got fourth, and that was as clean of a race as I possibly could have done. That's what's frustrating without custom vehicles. How much time do I have left? I have 22 minutes. This is a full lobby. I don't want to risk, like, leaving this lobby. But at the same time, I would like to at least have an opportunity to win because pretty much that race showed that I can be perfect and not win a race with 
my current situation. Yeah, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head back out. I'm gonna try to host one of these again. See if I can get into a lobby where I can make it where there's no custom vehicles. All right, so we're doing another race. We're doing another stunt race it's called Vicious Spiral. I wasn't able to get more than one person to do a normal stunt race with me as a host. So I had to join someone else. But this time we got a different selection of vehicles. And this time I'm using a Devastate 8, which I think is supposed to be a little bit faster than some of the other vehicles that I was using, like the X80 Proto. I wanted the Emirates. I actually had the opportunity to get the Emirates, but I saw this had better straight line speed and better acceleration. But you just subtracted the braking and the traction from the Emirates. I was like, all right, we're not going to do much turning in this race. I'll accept that. Ah, oh, but there's a guy right there with a custom HSW weaponized Ignis. Fantastic. All right, here we go. Lap number two. We're sitting in eighth right now. Not the cleanest lap by me, but hopefully we can get top five. Oh, never mind. The weaponized Ignis guy is right there. You're so frustrating how fast that weaponized Ignis is. You just easily go right past me. I do not know why they enable HSW mods in these races when they have their own race class too, which we clearly just did earlier in this video. And we finished in eighth. We almost got seventh, but no. Nah. Yeah, just pretty uneventful race. Oh, uh, how much time do we have left? Oh, uh, we have six minutes left. We'll do one more race. Yeah, oh my goodness. First, second, third, fourth, not fifth, sixth. All weaponized Ignises. Like, come on, game. Oh, there you go. I got eighth. Uh, I didn't have a clean first lap, but I mean, after that, I, I raced pretty well. We're gonna just stop the timer right here. We'll just do one more race. <laughs> oh my god. We did a sports car race, and my armored Karuma is the first thing that comes up. Yeah, that's fantastic. Oh, we do not have good vehicles. Oh, no. Oh my gosh. I started the voting out and i saw this was a sports car race i was like you know what should we change a pace but oh my god i think we're gonna be outclassed by a long shot by the rest of these cars all right let's see what everyone else has looks fast armored karuma i see that um that looks fast um that's an hsw vehicle clearly oh my yep we're screwed we're screwed we're just taking laps for fun at this point unless if i get really lucky i need to hit some slipstreams no someone's hitting my slipstream okay it's not what i wanted i need a lot of people to wreck how about that you know oh, that's a start there's some wrecks i see you got I feel like I'm going in so okay. The Comet Safari is just blowing right past me. Okay, well, not anymore. And the Comet Safari was a part of that pile up. Thanks. So now there's absolutely no shot of me winning. Not that I was expecting to. Yeah, this was one of the original stunt races that came out. I remember doing this race like a lot. I was even driving around like a Masakro back in the day when that was one of the fastest sports car vehicles in the game. I used to win races with the Masakro, which was nice. Can't do that anymore. Yeah, that was way back in like 2016, 2015. But yeah, I need to hit this guy slipstream, please. Yes, this is my own only ticket to go forward. No, never mind. No, it's my ticket to crash. <laughs> I mean, we did so many bike races at the beginning of this video. Yeah, I wish we would have continued doing bike races. <laughs> I could at least compete with a body 801. All right, we're going to get eighth this race. Yeah, doing a sports car class race, not a good idea. And you're probably thinking too, I I'm sure someone's thinking, it's like, why did you pick the Obey Omnis? That was literally the fastest vehicle I could choose. That's including my custom vehicles. I do not have a good custom vehicle that could compete in a race. See, like this right here is the Armored Karuma. I do have the Armored Karuma, but it can't compete in a race. See, that guy DNF'd. And we finish out with getting $10,000. I mean, $10,000 for getting eighth? That's not bad. Oh, the S95. That's right. The, everyone was using the S95. Yeah, that's an HSW vehicle. I remember that. Okay. All right, so for doing all those races, we made $178,000, which is kind of crazy because that's including us winning $71,000 that one race for getting first place. I was a little held back by not having a custom vehicle. I didn't have like a good opportunity to get first place, but I didn't race too well either, but whatever. All right, so we're back at our vehicle warehouse. We need to sell off three more vehicles and this Roosevelt Valor was a top range vehicle, which is going to be very, very nice. So let's send it to a specialist dealer. Let me customize this thing. We should be ready to go. All right, here we go. We have to take this Roosevelt Valor like three and a half miles, which isn't the worst thing in the world. And I just did a lot of practicing for my driving. So I really shouldn't have an excuse to run into anything unless any NPC wants to change that. That's on me. That's on me. <laughs> <laughs> that one is on me. I was a little aggressive. Whatever. Oh my God. There's a tank right in my way of where I want to go. Okay. Well, luckily we're in a city. There's multiple ways to get to one location. Good thing I was kind of paying attention. That would have sucked if I didn't pay attention and I would just run into a tank. I mean, maybe it could have been friendly, but yeah, let's not test that out. And there we go. We've made it over to this location. Not too much controversy during this cell mission. We only lost like $500. Not too bad at all. Made $149,000 off of that. And we still have two more vehicles we need to sell off. So let's go source those vehicles and sell those things off. 
All right, so we're back in my terabyte. Let's go source another vehicle. So far, it's been good today. What are we getting this time, though? Wow, another top range vehicle. This has been a great day as far as vehicle cargo is concerned. So far, three top range vehicles in two mid range vehicles, zero standard range vehicles. That is absolutely huge because the standard range absolutely kills how much money we can make. So thank you, game, for giving me that today. So we made it here to the power station. Oh, this is one of those stupid car meet ones, which is so frustrating. Frustrating. So we have to take out a ton of people, which I don't want to do because now I have to shoot kind of near the car that I want to steal and there's a lot of them. And I can't use explosives because I'll blow up the vehicle I want to steal. Okay, there we go. Finally, everyone's been taken out. Now we have to steal this beautiful FMJ and somehow I didn't shoot this thing. Our repair cost is still at zero. I am shocked by that. All right, so now we have to go three miles and deliver this thing. Oh, but there's NPCs coming after me. That sucks. All right, so despite all those people coming after me, we only have like a repair cost of $3,700, which isn't bad at all. All right, so once again, the timer has expired. Let's go ahead and sell off our third top range vehicle right here once again to a specialist dealer all right where are we going this time ah uh, like two and a half miles all right not bad at all okay oh well that was my bad <laughs> i keep trying to thread the needle just now sometimes you just can't thread the needle all right so we've made it to the location here is your car only once again like 500 dollars worth of damage but whatever all right there we go another hundred forty nine thousand dollars in my bank account and we still have one more vehicle that we need to source and sell so yeah let's jump into that all right, so here we go. Let's go get our last thing of vehicle cargo. Oh my God, we get another top range vehicle. What a day. What a day it's been with vehicle cargo. Out of six, we've gotten four top range vehicles and two mid range vehicles. No standard range vehicles. That is fantastic. And that's without our vehicle cargo warehouse being like stocked up with, you know, standard range and mid range vehicles. Like this is legit. All right, so here's the ETR one. It's going to drive towards me and looks like you're being chased by the cops like that <laughs> yeah this specific mission is a little bit annoying because i have to get out of a vehicle like a normal vehicle and try to chase after that car all right i finally caught up to the etr1 and i gotta shoot the driver out um excuse me can you like stop okay no you didn't listen ah this one's so oh, okay thank goodness i hit that shot all right let's get into the etr1 i have to lose the cops but this mission i can luckily just call up lesser yeah our repair cost is going to be the highest one of the day which is going to be right at at $7,800, which I mean, I think that's a pretty good day, honestly. All right, so once again, we have to wait for the timer to expire before we can sell off our final vehicle of the day. All right, the timer finally expired. We can sell off our final vehicle right here. We're gonna sell it to a specialist dealer. All right, we're taking this roughly three miles, which isn't bad. The sell missions towards the end of our six vehicles that we had to sell got shorter and shorter, which is nice. Okay, there's an impressive, no, no, no. What you doing, cowboy? I probably should kill him, but I gotta find a good opportunity to. Ready, set, go. Ow. Well, there goes that. I probably pissed him off now. How are you not dead? He's probably gonna land on the building and then come down and then shoot a grenade launcher or something. Yeah, this is fantastic. Oh, uh, I gotta get creative. Oh, uh, he's like right there, right? Oh, oh, I did get him. Oh my gosh. I doctor clutched. That was a doctor clutch moment right there. I, let me get out of here first. I'm not the best PvP player, but I have a brain. Oh no, but is that? Okay, there's a pink oppressor that came by, but I think he was kind of being our ally or something. I don't know. Oh, that guy. That guy is killing the guy that tried to come after me. There's that pink guy right there. Dude, that guy's a G. Thank you for that guy. Wow. I thought Dr. Clutch would come in during the racing part of this video. I don't know. I wasn't really clutch though during those races. That was clutch right there. My goodness. Wow. Bro, I got a message to that pink guy. That guy really just made it a lot easier for me. Uh, he just died. That's okay. Your job is done. His name is Assassin Dylan. Shout out to Assassin Dylan. I don't know if he even knows me or not. Um, the guy's coming after me again. That guy. Oh, dude, it's gonna be the same thing, I think. Please learn from your mistakes. I'm not even a PvP channel, and I'm just, like, piecing you together. Goodness, like, please, use your head. You're born with it. It's not meant for decoration. It's meant to apply yourself in life. It's not meant to try to be stupid. What, I killed him that quickly? I guess you're getting a little PvP content. Me versus dumbass. What's he running to? Oh, he's just driving away. What a moron. The pink guy is gonna go after him. Oh, he's right there. Oh, can I hit him with a homing missile? This will be fun. <laughs> you can run, but you cannot hide. 
<laughs> Alright, so anyways, after all that we did in this episode, we're sitting on $1,081,000. I don't know exactly how much that Vapid Chino is going to cost me in the end, but I assume we're roughly halfway there to purchasing everything that we need to make this thing absolutely beautiful. And come on, that was such a great ending to today's episode. I think you need to go down and hit that subscribe button. I think you have to. I destroyed an oppressor griefer. Also hit the like button while you're at it. Tomorrow. Alright, so I had actually outro this video and it's a new day today and i took a look at how much the benny's modifications for the vapid chino would cost and it's roughly gonna cost us just for the customization like eight hundred and fifty thousand dollars i mean we still have to buy the car but yeah we're currently sitting at one million eighty one thousand dollars so we should be able to fully customize the vapid chino which i was not expecting yesterday when i recorded this video so yeah we're here today a new day we're gonna pick up this vapid chino which this base price is two hundred and twenty five thousand dollars i calculated it by like maxing everything out with this car so yeah i don't really think we're gonna be using this entire budget but we can afford it so yeah there we go we just purchased our vapid chino so yeah we're left with pretty much eight hundred and fifty six thousand dollars. so yeah i pretty much have the budget to get whatever i want with this car so yeah i'm gonna head over to benny's now and i'm gonna call my vapid chino and we're gonna get to customizing this thing wait what benny's original motor works is currently unavailable visit lamar to unlock it what when is this a thing dude i have not messed around with bennies in so long all right yeah contact lamar visit lamar so he can lay out his plan oh lamar where are you then oh oh okay now we have to go back over here got it got it dude i haven't done bennies things in probably like seven or eight years i have not messed around with this at all but what's up lamar i was not expecting to see you okay that was probably one of the most confusing cutscenes ever it was just lamar just talking out his ass but whatever uh do i actually have to do this job i have a sneaky suspicion we don't actually have to do that you need a vehicle to use benny's original motor works i have a vehicle thank you so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna call my mechanic and i'm gonna call in my new vapacino all right there you go benny's original motor works is now available at that icon bring a suitable vehicle to benny's to apply his cosmetic and performance modifications and then it also says benny's website sells all the suitable stock vehicles that he works on access it through the internet on your phone which that is what i already did but here is my vapacino I mean, you're probably thinking oh my gosh dr crush this is a horrible car why the heck was this thing on the wheel of luxury this is crap and so far yeah but we're gonna take it in here oh my god we have like another mini cutscene benny's talking dude i didn't think benny talked at least a whole lot um okay so we just sat through that cutscene, and here we go this is the upgrade right here we have to click upgrade benny's original motor works and this modification which will turn this vehicle pretty much into a completely different type of vehicle is gonna be one hundred and eighty-five thousand dollars. so yes I am sure I want to upgrade this to a Chino Custom. And before I do this, there's special modifications that are only inside of the Chino Custom. So if you want to get some of these special like modifications to any of your Benny's vehicles, you have to pay for this. You can't just buy, I don't know, like the LG RH8. It's a free vehicle, technically. If you want the special modifications for that, uh, you can't just buy the vehicle for free and expect to get the modifications to it. You have to get the custom version of this vehicle, which you can do right here. I'll show you one more time you click upgrade benny's original motor works and you select to make custom vehicle so there we go it is now a custom vehicle where you have some hydraulics on it already but first things first i want to mess around with the respray i know it's probably gonna piss a lot of people off but i want to make this thing dr crush orange we just have to no way around it all right so that's good there um there's some different liveries but i looked at them earlier i didn't think these were the best liveries and no they are not these are garbage now another cool thing with Benny's modifications is that you can unlock hydraulics for some of these Benny's vehicles. And these are lift kits to control the height of your vehicle. Extreme use may cause minor vehicle damage. Okay, whatever. I don't care. So these things are pretty sweet. So obviously I have budgeted to get the most expensive one. So that is very nice. That is $275,000 of my budget. All right, I'm going to finish upgrading this vehicle. Uh, the rest isn't too crazy. So I'll see you when we're done upgrading this thing. <laughs> Bro, you can get crocodiles skin in here? Ah, what? 
I'm sorry. Are we gonna get tiger fur in here, dude? I don't know. The crocodile kind of goes hard. We have to get the crocodile. Well, we can get action figures in here too. I mean, they're technically bobbleheads, but I mean, I went around very recently and collected every single collectible in the game. I mean, I might as well get impotent rage just kind of as a nod to that video. I think that makes sense. Oh my God. We budgeted so perfectly. We have $381 left. My goodness. But here is our vapid Chino after customizing this thing. I mean, it's a pretty good looking car. This is when driving a low rider, hold the A button and move your left analog stick to play around the hydraulics. Okay. Like imagine me rolling up to your apartment like this. Like my goodness, you'd be afraid. Whoa, whoa. Oh, I figured out something. Wait, no. Wait, how did I do that? I'm doing it the wrong way. I should be doing it this way, right? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so stupid. So yeah, let's take a look at this vehicle. I mean, look how nice this thing is. Like, my goodness. Very nice engine. We're doing this in the dark, but oh well. We have the nice crocodile seats. Very nice. And then we go back here. We have our hydraulic system along with our speakers. <laughs> oh my god wait wait hold on hold on hold on hold on ready set oh shoot that's not what i wanted to do hold on i wanted to like there's a girl just kind of chilling out in my car now this is weird and my head is like right in her um area i mean dude this thing's so fun all right so for next episode we're gonna spin the wheel of businesses to see what business we are going to have to buy next make sure you check out this video right here if you want to see viewers get one attempt to complete my heist in gta online